Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the E-Ray Vision Podcast. Now I got myself, Hector, also known as CN6. And with me, I got Hav. Yo. And Jazzy. What up? And tonight, we're going to be reviewing Rebel Moon. Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon. Mm. Part one. Part one, Child yes. of Fire. Yes, thank you, Hav. Uh, but before we get into it, I'd like to remind you guys that you guys can listen to us on Spotify, Apple, Google, SoundCloud, and YouTube. Also, guys, make sure you leave a rating. That'll help us a lot. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you follow our socials at Hero Vision Podcast or go to HeroVisionPodcast.com. You're going to see all of our links through there. Make sure you follow our second YouTube channel called Hero Vision Clips. That's where we upload all of our clips. Where you, or if you don't have enough time to listen to the whole podcast, we'll post all the highlights through there. Also, make sure you follow our main page called Heat Ray Vision to stay up to do. Oh, what the fuck? I <laughs> stay up to do, man. That's uh, crazy, man. Nah, this movie fried me, man. Uh, Heat Ray Vision to stay up, with, stay up to date. Uh, stay up to date with any geek uh, news and films, TV, and video games. The uh, socials are Heat Ray Vision or go to heatrayvision.com. You're going to find all of our socials through there. All the links will be down in the description. And by burning me out, guys, I mean, yeah, the Rebel, uh, Rebel Moon. Um, So, uh, we're gonna we're gonna be doing a spoiler review. I mean, should we just do spoilers? Straight up spoilers. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're we'll we're doing straight up spoilers, guys. We're not gonna do a non-spoiler section. So, I mean, if you're listening to this, either you're Josue and you're crazy, you don't know, you just listen to everything, True. or uh, you probably already seen this uh, movie. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get into spoilers in one, two, three. All right, guys. So now we're gonna be uh, reviewing it, and uh, just don't watch it. I think that's the <laughs> that's the end of the review, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, With that being said, we'll catch you guys bad, in the next one. Peace. I mean, that's pretty much. I'm gonna end right now. <laughs> I actually end it, <laughs> dude. Be, dude, you know what? It, you no, know what? Oh, that would be like a that good April funny. Fool's joke. Yeah. Well, not anymore because you just said it on the pod. Now they're gonna expect it. Fuck. Nah, uh, they ain't gonna remember. <laughs> you know, I'm, gonna I ain't gonna remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I remember. But wouldn't that be funny, actually? It's like, yeah. yo, what the. Fuck, why is this such a short ass pod? Uh, but yeah, Rebel Moon, uh, I guess. No, what would have been better What's up? is if it was a short ass pod. Okay. But the runtime goes on for two hours. Oh, yeah. Also, the name would be Short Ass Pod? No, like it would just be a I review and the pod would be five minutes long. Like, all right, well, that's the end of the review. Peace, see you. And then, like, the la the next hour and a half hour the next hour 55 is just dead oh. silence. <laughs> that would be fun because yeah. if we just upload a five minute pod they're gonna be like why is this shit five minutes they're gonna that's see true. it coming that's true bro i might use that half uh that'd be more interesting than this movie actually uh but yeah rebel moon as, as you can tell guys we're excited to talk about Shut this up. movie <laughs> Don't Javi do doesn't want to. Javi doesn't want to do don't it. Don't do that. Javi don't want to do this no more. Um, <laughs> uh, he said we're excited. But yeah, Rebel no, Moon. No. I guess let's let's talk about okay our first initial thoughts when the trailer came out. You know wh what we were um, if we were kind of looking forward to it and stuff like that. So Zack Snyder, as we know, he was a lot of people see him as like a god man because of the Snyder cut and everything. Mm. And so when well, he has made good movies in the past. Uh, which ones again? Uh, Go ahead. Hi. Well, the You're most the popular one would be 300. That's a fire movie. Mm -hmm. Never fire seen movie. It. You never seen 300? You never no, seen 300? That's crazy, He man. did 300. I think what he the also, fuck? I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he also did Watchmen. Oh, oh I have not seen Watchmen. I heard that's neither. fire, though. Me neither. Um, but okay. obviously the Snyder verse. He also, oh, he did the, uh, this was before the pod, guys, but the, he did that zombie movie that we saw back in, uh, well, like, back in quarantine or something. Yeah, what was it called? Yeah. Army of the Dead, which I personally did like, and then there was a spinoff called Army of Thieves, which I actually I actually like that movie. Not gonna lie, I give that mm. one like a like an eight. Um, yeah. But anyways, so oh, and I guess we could also say that it was confirmed that Army of the Dead is in the same universe as Rebel Moon. I guess. Uh, I mean, I guess it makes sense because they're traveling all over the universe. Maybe it's like a different planet or mm -hmm. something. You know what I mean? But I mean. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker trying to start his Snyderverse somehow, like I, I guess I, I don't uh, fucking know. Um, but but yeah, so Rebel Moon Snyder, uh, a lot of people think of him, think highly of him and stuff. So a lot of people were actually pretty hyped about this new project, mm. Rebel Moon. I mean, at least I was. I was like, oh shit, okay, cool. Like some, uh, it gives off like that. What um, mature like Star Wars vibes? Yeah. I mean, we said the same thing for the creator. And, um, yeah. 
so yeah uh we for we for me bro it wasn't so much the trailer that caught my attention to be honest the trailer was oh, really? kind of like whatever you think so it was the story it was the backstory of the movie that caught my attention more and i believe it caught mario's attention more am i right on that what do you mean by backstory like the behind like the well scene? like when we found out what this movie really is at its core oh the backstory yeah. that intrigued me more than the trailer did when I saw the trailer, I was like, okay, it's like a Zack Snyder, big-ass, grand-scope space movie, right, that he's making. It's going to be like another Army of the Dead. It's going to be grand scale and hella CGI, and it's going to be long as fuck. But now it takes place in space. All right, cool. But it was the backstory that intrigued me, because the backstory of the movie goes that Zack Snyder actually wanted to make a mature R-rated Star Wars movie. Oh, this backstory. And I think it meant the, like the plot of the movie. Fuck no. <laughs> I barely remember the plot. <laughs> I thought that's what you meant. I'm like, oh, no, okay. No, the backstory, the backstory of the movie. Yeah. That would be the plot synopsis, girl. Yeah, my bad, girl. But the backstory is that he wanted to make a mature R-rated Star Wars movie. So he went to L Disney and Lucasfilms and pitched it to them. And they were like, uh, what are you, stupid? Star Wars, is, <laughs> Star Wars is aimed for kids, girl. Sadly. We can't have an R-rated Star Wars movie. Sadly. What the yeah. fuck, is your, fuck is your issue? So they One turned day. him down. But Netflix was like, hey, man, you can come and make that movie with us, and we'll make you, but, like, but, like, but like make, make it PG-13, girl, not R. And it's like, really? Why? Anyways, yeah. they still made him, they still allowed him to make his movie. Obviously, he couldn't call it Star Wars, and he couldn't use lightsabers or anything that was Star Wars trademarks. So he had to just come up with his own shit. But basically, this is the mature, somewhat R-rated, but it's actually PG-13. It is the mature Star Wars movie that he wanted to make for Disney and Lucasfilms that got turned down. So Netflix picked up the movie and had him make it for them. So so that's what this movie was. Wow. So I was like, interesting. An R-rated, mature, grounded Star Wars sounds movie. Interesting. It On sounds paper. interesting, but then again, like if you get into Star Wars, like we already have quite a few grounded, mature takes of Star Wars projects. So nothing about this one would have... Just based on like the backstory, nothing about his idea yeah. sounded new, other than it. He wanted it rated R, mm -hmm. which means he they would have like they would say fuck and shit and then like they would have blood splatters and like go crazy with it, right? But other than that, as far as mature and grounded, wow. like Star Wars has done that before. I guess I guess Disney dodged a bullet with the director, yeah. Probably, yeah. Not with the already Star Wars. I, I still want that. No, I'm talking about with the movie. Because they're like, they shut him down. He wanted to work with them. Mm -hmm. Disney shut him down. I mean, but, okay. No, that's true. That does, because that does seem, a, a, like, intriguing. Mm -hmm. The fact that it's a more mature, grounded, rated R type of Star Wars feel. Yeah. And, I mean, when, I remember you telling me that. And then, plus, when I saw the trailer, I was like, okay, I'm kind of looking forward to this. Kind of same thing with the creator. Mm -hmm. Even though I haven't, I don't, I haven't seen Star Wars except for the first movie. Um, so, yeah. And... I guess let's just jump right into it, y'all. Uh, this one was a tough watch. Yeah. This is a silent. This is a silent night for me, bro. Mario. But with words. But with words. No, I'm talking about silent night as in the feeling that I got for silent oh, night. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a similar. Fuck no. <laughs> I'm not saying it's similar. Just the feeling what I got from silent. Night I know what you I'm mean, man. Right here, man. Yeah. Uh, I Fuck. mean. If, this was just the like it was a it was a two hours and what two hours and like fifteen minutes 15. or something, and man, it's a drag. Bro. It's a drag. It, it feels drag. like a fucking drag. It drags on for way. And too this long. is just the part one, guys. This we have another whole two. movie coming out August uh, August April and April, oh, April of next year. That's and sometimes, sometimes, I'm like, damn, like. I don't want to do. I don't want to do this pod no more because of the shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, we're doing it because, you know, so you don't have to, I guess. I mean, same thing with, I guess, Scream. You saw the whole situation with Scream. Yeah. Like, the director left. Every, the Everybody The main leads left. left. Yeah. It's like, I ain't trying to watch it, but we got to. Mm -hmm. Someone's <laughs> got to. Someone's got to tell you if it's shit <laughs> or good. <laughs> when it comes out. When it comes out. Oh, but, wow. but yeah, man, uh, this that's the first thing right uh, let's talk about i guess it was such a drag i mm. mean i couldn't really get through it honestly i was kind of like anticipating it like, okay when is this almost over mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right it, it felt long as fuck it took me two days to finish this movie that's crazy you want to you want to talk about that yeah basically <laughs> i started watching it last night at 1 a.m because i was busy and i just didn't get home yeah. till late and i was still like 
you know when you think you've had like food or soda or something that you feel yeah. awake awake maybe you just had yeah. caffeine or whatever i felt awake i got home but i was like oh i'm probably going to game or something let me put on some let me just game or or or, or watch a movie like let me just do something yeah. and while i was debating on what to do like i might just play some cod or something i was like oh wait fucking rebel moon fuck we got to review that for tomorrow so I was like, all right, let me put it on, right? I know the reviews were trash and all that, but let me just put it on and see what's up. <laughs> and I got about 20 minutes in, and Awake Me turned to Tired Me, like that. Like, like fucking like that. Yeah. And I started going to sleep, and I fell asleep, and I missed 35 minutes of the movie. So I just turned it off. I was like, fuck this, and I just went to sleep. And then the next morning, today, I had to wake up early to finish the movie. I went back to the part that I last remembered before I knocked the fuck out. And then I finished it. From then on, it was like the twenty minute mark to the end. It's like that thirty minutes felt like an hour thirty, like type shit. Yeah, uh, or something. But but I was literally like, oh my god, like, yeah. I wasn't tired last night. This movie is just fucking boring. Yeah, that's what the issue was. If I was just like gaming, or if I was watching something else, I probably would have stayed awake late as yeah. fuck to do whatever. Um, but I was like, no, I was I was not tired last night. Yeah. I, this movie's just fucking boring. It's a fucking drag. Because essentially what this movie is, is that it focuses on Sofia Bo, Bo, Botella or Botea. I don't know how you pronounce her last name, but she stars her. And in very Star Wars-esque fashion, she wants to get a team together to go against not the not Empire, we'll call it. Yeah. Not the Empire. But... The problem with this movie is that it's a two-hour, 15-long movie. And like I said, based on the synopsis, I like, like the synopsis of the movie is that Sofia Bot- Botella goes across the universe, across yeah. the galaxy, I should say, to find and, recruit, fighters. and recruit warriors to fight against the bad people, right? The entire plot, the entire movie should not have just been the recruitment, though. <laughs> That's the biggest fucking <laughs> That's issue. That's the movie. Yeah, man, the entire movie. That's the movie entire is... movie. Uh, Hector was actually watching the movie here at, at the at the, at the uh, HRV Studios, I guess we'll call it for now. HRV Studios. We were, he was watching it here next to <laughs> us. We were in the studio. Yeah. yeah, bro. He was watching it, and he paused it because he's like, cause I forgot why he paused the movie. And there was 55 minutes left. And I looked at the movie and I was like, oh, yeah, they're finally recruiting that guy. 55 minutes left into the movie. I remember looking at Hector being like, imagine imagine your movie is 55 minutes left, but they're still recruiting people. <sighs> yeah, man. It's just fuck. Yeah, dude. I and mean, he, and the thing is, for a movie being over two hours and it takes such a long ass time to recruit each and every one of these people, you would think they use that time wisely to flesh these characters out. And then once the team's banded you together, don't, bro. once the team is banded together, you're like, other like, than the main chick, other than her, I don't give a fuck about everybody else. Yeah. Which is weird because you said that the movie takes, I, I don't remember. I'm going to take your word. Hmm. Didn't you say 10 minutes of this movie was just that one dude, the long haired motherfucker taming the bird dragon thing from Harry Potter? Yeah, bro. Like, like I don't care. Like just Why 10 minutes of just that. Of that? Like, honestly, there's... Uh, so there's so many scenes in here that are that drag the fuck on. What was the like, point of that spider lady? Remember that? Just, just to, to showcase show the stuff. one of the warriors that they're trying to recruit. Bro. Yeah. Like that's it. Like there's just a bunch of things that could be left out, dude. Mm-hmm. And not only that, on top of it, there's like constant slow motion scenes. Like what yeah, the Zack fuck's Snyder going is on? known for his slow mo in man, his movies, but no, this movie man. I felt like they had over, more of that. They, they yeah, they they utilized it too much in here, and I to me it seems like oh we're doing this because this is the only way we can make this shot look cool. Because when it wasn't in slow motion, the choreography, the fighting was just mediocre, man. Like mm-hmm. it was just like. It looked like mediocre. I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? And I said this in Aquaman review that the choreography in, in Aquaman, I enjoyed it a lot more than in this shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm like, that kind of says a lot, man. It's fucking like, what like what the fuck am I watching? Mm-hmm. And there's not also there's not that much action. The the these we're already like over an hour in. You don't care about any of these characters. Mm-hmm. You're just like, okay, cool. Like when is the when is the next thing coming? Mm-hmm. And I guess we should say I, I want to mention. Um, so I finished it maybe like five minutes ago right now before recording the pod before recording the pod because yesterday I got home late 
And I was like, okay, cool. I ate, I showered. Okay, cool. You know what? Let me put on the fucking bear, you know, that um, I, I want to catch. I want to see that shit. And I was fire. I was like five episodes in. I lost track of time. It was like 1 a.m. or something. And I'm like, no, I was supposed to watch Rebel Moon. Fuck. I'm like, all right, you know, it's cool. I'm going to lay on my bed and watch it. I only got up to like 40 minutes or some shit until maybe it was close to 3 a.m. or something or 2.30, something like that. And I was like, nah, man, I'm falling asleep. Fuck this. I'm going to just have to watch it tomorrow, man. Fuck. Hopefully the guys don't kill me. And then I want to go. I go to sleep. We come back. We saw Aquaman. We come back. We reviewed Aquaman. And uh, we're here. And we're like, okay, guys, uh, let's see how much time I got left. I had like an hour 30 left of the movie and so javi was like man fuck this bro i'm gonna I'm a catch up on uh what if what if i watched the last yeah I, there was like i missed to, i was busy this weekend so i missed out on the last two episodes of what if because they were releasing the episodes a new episode every day mm-hmm. i missed out on the last two so i went to catch up on that and mario then, was watching his football game on his phone at first he was no, watching uh beef. that beef show i was watching the beef, beef which i saw guys Steven that's Yen. just fire as fuck but anyways and so while i was doing my thing he was doing his own thing hector was here watching the movie so we the were movie. all just kind of separately doing our own grinds i guess yeah doing why are you and then mario's laughing because he wants to grind on you i mean he's not wrong but it wasn't no the worst half the worst times where i was sitting right there and i could see your screen i was watching your shit for a bit because <laughs> 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 i was like i'm like what the fuck because i it's, it's it's where captain um carter was like in the woods and shit throwing her shield i was yeah. like watching you for like five minutes <laughs> Because I was like, dang, this is a lot more entertaining. That five minutes what I watch. Right the whole movie. <laughs> funny as like, I look back up. The dude's still, t- they're still taming that motherfucker. Like, damn, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's still taming that bitch. It's already been 10 minutes, man. What the fuck? Hey, man. Captain Carter saved the world already. This motherfucker's still petting the thing. Like, what the hell is going yeah. on? Yeah, man. That shit looked like the thing from Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, right? That, that's what it reminded me of. And then, uh, what are you saying, Mario? What, you going to say something? No, nah, I was going to see how, like, how me and Javi were enjoying our time while you were hating your time. Dude, it's just... And it's also funny that. because like you said you fell asleep watching it and you fell asleep watching it. I watched it the day, the day it came out, but I fell asleep watching it also. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't Dude, finish it, like, bro, until like, I think like Javi, two days ago. Are, are we just not like cinephiles? No. Like, dude, is this actually cinema? We no, just don't get it? No, it's not. Because I can name you the flaws, like no, yeah, we'll get into it. Can't name, you can't. We'll get into it. You know what I mean? Uh, So I want before we get into that, let's. I want to talk about how I was just here watching and shit. And obviously, guys, we got food and everything. I mean, I have this table. This uh, shout out to Everardo, man. One of our good friends. It's his table. It's a foldable table, like they use. You see, like a Mexican parties and shit, and they they put like like a tarp over it or something. Yeah, not a tarp, but like a a plastic one. Like a yeah, like a tablecloth or some shit. And we're just chilling and stuff. Then all of a sudden, I see the desk sliding. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I thought Mario was pushing it. And this motherfucker, this shit collapse. Mm-hmm. My table co- collapses on the fucking floor. Drops ev- all the food, everything. I'm like, what the fuck? I pause this shit. I'm like, this shit's lit. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, like, what the fuck? This shit's lit as hell. <laughs> Like this is a ten out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten experience. That was the most. And Mario said this before the pod. This was the most excitement I had since like the uh, like compared to the movie. I'm like, what I the said fuck? that. You said that. Yeah, Hobbs yeah, said I that. said oh, that. Oh, I thought Mario said Hell that. Hell no, he ain't witty like me. Oh, okay. Oh, man. My bad. It was Javi. <laughs> it was Javi that said that. And hey, man, it was just that's that's facts, man. This movie was just boring as shit, but guys. It was a drag. Probably the longest two hours of a movie. Like it was. Oh my god, man! Uh, a silent night all over. I know how. I know you don't agree with this, but at least from I don't know. What do you think? Actually, would you? Actually, this is a good question between me, me and Mario. What, what do you th- like? Would you watch? Would you rather watch this or Silent Night? Man, oh, I don't want to watch either. Man. I don't want to watch either, but that's tough. <laughs> this. <one. laughs> <laughs> that's tough. Uh, hey, you also, man, oh What'd you get? Oh, you gave a Silent Night a three, right? That's yeah. bad. Bro. That's bad. <laughs> I guess I would. I mean, yeah, you gave Silent Night a three, but yeah, I don't want to watch either, man. Like, this is all watch. over again, man. Like, I don't even want to watch the second part. Nah, dude. You know what I mean? They're both bad. But what if it picks up? What if? Uh, what if part two is actually good? Yeah. What if part two is actually good? I mean, but I, then again, I it's gonna be so it. hard because we haven't even built a connection with the characters now. I know. 
This, you know, that's one of the things. And then, okay, so let's talk about the flaws then, the things that we didn't like. How, I, I know I, you, said, you were going to get into oh it. My so. bad. Or do you want to go, Mario? You oh, no, go I was first? just going to say because for a movie where the whole movie basically is recruiting your team for at the end of the movie for you not to give a single shit about any of the fucking characters. Not even, even the, we're in spoilers, not, so not even the person that dies. I know. One of the one of the persons that they recruit dies. And it's supposed to be like an emotional moment and we see a character crying and that this character's crying and shit. I'm like, who is that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know? Right, and the I character guess. that dies is like, who was this again? It's like, I mean, okay, cool. He died. Mm-hmm. You don't really care. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, but go on. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was just going to say that you, you don't give a shit about anybody yeah. on this team. Even the <laughs> the main character. Like, I want to like her, but I'm just like, yeah. I, well, I, I, to me, I, I told this to Hav earlier. I was like, bro, I felt like there was, there were scenes that were filmed, but they never showed us. They just told us. Hmm. Right, and I, I I googled it. I was like, was was there shit cut in in this fucking movie? Right, and I think there was. I didn't fully read the article. I, I literally Google look. I literally googled. And you can't even see were scenes cut from Rebel Moon. Mm. And I said there are some scenes that are not in the movie. And we what? And while we were doing it, I could have told you that they were going. They weren't going to be in it. It was like, how could you cut this scene from a twelve year old? There are other scenes where it doesn't matter and it doesn't change whatsoever. So I don't know what the fuck that means, but I had that feeling when I was watching it. I was like, I feel like we were supposed to see that, but they chose to tell us instead, which isn't bad, I guess. Like, it, even if they were in this scene, would, it, mean, have, would it have made a difference to, like, to overall? Maybe it would have made it, the movie a little bit more enjoyable. But then again, but then again the, know, phrase, the phrase of show don't tell, though. Yeah. Maybe if they did show those cutscenes, it would have fleshed out the movie more. It also would have made the movie long. <laughs> it would have, yeah. yeah. Made it longer. But, <laughs> Plus, even the action know, sequences weren't even that entertaining no. in this no. movie. No. You know no. That's I mean? why, that's why, fuck y'all. What? Low key. That's why it's like, really, fuck you. Like, what? What was worse? This or Silent Night? At least Come Silent on, Night man. had gun shootouts and blood and, and car chases. What did this movie have? Okay, but that happened like the last 30 minutes of the movie, bro. That's true. Okay. Nah, what happened man. in the last 30 minutes here? <laughs> no, nah, man. Same shit. That's why I put them on the same level. <laughs> yeah, hey, right. Man. Yeah. This movie, someone <laughs> had a lightsaber in it, all right? <laughs> hey, That's no why. No, I guess it was Silent Night, man. It's just the fact that like no one was talking, and I was just like, I didn't really care about the characters as much. I mean, same thing here, except like this one, these motherfuckers talk, spoke, and I'm like, no, nah, they just talk too much. They just talk too much. <laughs> they be, like, they be gibber, they like be that main chattering. girl was talking way too much, bro. Low key, like she should just be slobbing on my nuts. What? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mouth do, man? Shut the hell up. Oh my god, yeah, we're gonna girl. get James Gunn out here. Bro. That's right. <laughs> should be girl. Gonna get James Gunn. Javi's gonna get. Hey, James listen, Gunn. hey, listen. I'm out of mind. Fuck y'all. Ready? Y'all can't cancel me if I don't allow it. Oh my mm-hmm. God, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but actually, let's okay, let's talk about what the fuck's going on in this movie, right? Can I tell you something? I want to say something. I made a connection with this movie. Oh shit! I can connect it with Harry Potter. Ooh, Harry Potter. Yes. I'm gonna be honest with you, Hav. I've only remember the first two Harry Potter movies. Yeah, man. I gotta go back and watch them. What the fuck? Yeah, I know. And that but one scene, and that, and that one scene where Harry Potter, what, Harry Potter, <laughs> Harry Potter turns into like a gill and shit and is swimming Harry underwater. Potter. Yeah, that's in the fourth movie. I remember that scene. That's it. That's it. All right. Well, yeah, cool. Oh, and the right. scene where like they get where Ron and Harry Potter on that are in that car and the they car. get yeah, and they like get trapped in that tree or some shit. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's yeah. it. Uh, I guess the last movie where they do that final big battle and shit. Yeah, that's it, man. Okay, this so, is so long, man. All right, Dude, well, we were kids, huh? Well, yeah. I watched. I watched them like. What's the thing? Recently. I've only yeah, no, man, not me. So the connection that I made is that like yeah, I'm ahead. watching Rebel Moon. And I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. This whole movie is literally just them recruiting people. Because the whole thing is like, well, she's going to recruit a band. All right, check real quick. Are we recording? We're recording. Yeah, right? we're recording. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's red, right? Yeah. yeah okay, it's 24 minutes in. I don't want it to fuck this up and like we got to re-record. Redo it. Yeah. No, right, right, right. I was going to say. I'm trying to do it again, bro. <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, yeah, yeah. The like, connection with Harry Potter. The thing with that, well, like where they're just recruiting people. And I'm like, but that's most of the movie. It's like, oh. We're trying to recruit a, a group of warriors together mm-hmm. to fight the mother world or the Imperium, mother whatever the world. fuck they're called, right? The bad guys, basically. But the fucked up part is, is that about 80% of the movie is Sophia Bo- Botella and that other farmer dude from her planet going from planet to planet recruiting these people. 
And like the last 30 minutes is when they actually go and face the enemies. And even then they didn't really defeat them. But that's because that's where part two comes in. <laughs> and it was like, damn, this movie mostly felt like set up. Then it did feeling like its own standalone movie because it yeah. almost feels like this movie was supposed to be set as set up. And then p- part part two is going to be when they actually take on the evil bad guys. And it reminded me of Harry Potter. Okay. It reminded me of Deathly Hollows part one and part two. Okay. Because in the Harry Potter, you find out that the only way to defeat Voldemort is first destroying each of his horcruxes. Remember, he splits his oh, soul yes. like in seven into, different diff- into different objects. And like in Deathly Hollows part one, if I'm not mistaken, that movie is over two hours long, and they only def- and they only destroy two of the Horcruxes. Sheesh. And it's like it's kind of like a thing where it like kind of felt like set up because then the last Deathly Hollows movie they finally destroy the rest of them plus the big battle that happens in Hogwarts plus Harry Potter faces off with Voldemort all that shit right so that's what I felt like with this movie this movie just kind of felt like set up to what the next movie was going to be about yeah which if that's the case. I think I would have forgave this but movie. The, but here's the issue, Hav. Yeah, here's go the ahead, issue. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Like, even though that may be the case, the reason why it worked with Harry Potter is because we already grew attached with them. I know. I'm but not saying this movie doesn't do a good job of it. I'm not saying the movie does a good job of it. No, I'm, just, I'm saying when I saw the movie, it felt like that. Yeah. I still enjoyed Deathly Hollows Part 1, but while I was watching it, I was like, Damn, we're halfway through the movie and they've only destroyed one Horcrux. We're still in the woods camping. Remember that? When they were in the cabin in the woods for a while? I'm like, damn, we're still here. So I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm just saying, like, I kind of felt that way when I was watching Rebel Moon. I'm like, this movie still feels like setup. Like, I feel like them facing off the bad guys is going to play a bigger part in the second movie. So here's the thing You, you felt that way in this Harry Potter movie where. There's already previous movies that you felt like that um, you grew attached with these characters. Right. Imagine in a movie where like it's that, but there's no connection between the characters, so it's even more unbearable. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's just like I, what I, the fuck? I know. Yeah. yeah exactly. Man. It's just it's unbelievable. One of those things, bro, where I think you know what they should have done? Yeah. They should have taken Rebel Moon Part One and Part Two, mm-hmm. both of them, and combined them into one. Mm-hmm. Like take the first Part One, Part One, Child of Fire. And part two, which is supposed to come out in April, they should have taken part two, Scar Giver, combine them into one, and split them as episodes of a show, not mm. two hour long, two part movies, especially not three months apart. Yeah, it would have been better. You know as what I mean? Show, and actually. they should have done a better job of establishing the warriors that they're recruiting, and like flesh out their person, their person more, and their dialogue, so that we could actually like these characters. Because every character that I've met. Like, they all look different. Mm-hmm. But when they talk and act, they all act the same. There is no there is no differentiating the characters. Right. You know what I mean? Like like uh the, the dude that uh, the, the, the dude with the white beard, that yeah. general, the fallen general, I forgot the actor's name, but he's literally in every movie, right? He's the Shazam wizard from the Shazam movies. Mm-hmm. He was in Guardians of the Galaxy, like he's been in a bunch of movies. Like, when he talks, I feel like he talks no different than like the brother and sister duo warrior people that we meet later mm. on. Like when they talk, it just feels like the same shit. Yeah. When the farmer boy guy that pals around with Sophia that's from her planet, right? Sophia Botella, does it feel that much different from Kai, which is Charlie Hunnan, right? The guy from Sons of Anarchy, right? Mm-hmm. That guy. Like they all look different. Like costume design wise, like you got that one chick who like looks like Hela from Thor, Love and Thunder, yeah. or Thor the Ragnarok, right? His sister, the girl with the horns. Like you got that chick, then you got Charlie Hunnan, and then you have the two brother and sister duo. Like, yeah, costume design, they all look different, but talking and they're acting like even the 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 dude with the long hair who tames the fucking bird dragon thing. They all act the same though. Like yeah. I can't differentiate the characters. Like none of them stand out in their own unique way. Mm-hmm. that's where I'm like, uh, I can't connect to these characters because they all feel one dimensional. Mm-hmm. I feel like there is no variety. In like their personality wise. Imagine watching the Avengers, but they all act the same. Like, uh, imagine they all act like Thor, mm. like good Thor, not right. Not love and thunder. Yeah, Thor. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. good Thor, but imagine Iron Man, Captain America, Hawkeye, Hulk, they all talked with that Shakespearean fucking accent wording and shit. Like Thor does. Yeah. Like Thor does. You would be like, these all characters feel the same. Like, That's what the facts, hell? bro. And they're from different worlds and different pasts and different backstory, but they all talk and act the same. Mm-hmm. It's like, that was kind of boring. 
Yeah. That's how I felt with these characters. That's why I couldn't grow close to them because they don't even feel different. They all just kind of like whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I also love how a lot of the recruitments, especially that one guy, right? The fallen general. Yeah. It's like, I don't deserve that name. And it's like, but you were a great warrior. No, I once was. Mm. He goes, okay, fine. If not redemption, then revenge. And that's what gets him on board. That mm-hmm. fast. That convenient. It wasn't even like this long thing like where he's like, nah, fuck all that. But then again, the movie would be longer, man. Like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it would be longer, but then yeah. also, like, it just also means that this movie feels like a drag due to the fact that the dialogue and the pacing doesn't do it justice. And on top of that, a movie that's two hours long and yet you still can't find the script mm. or the or, or or the or the pacing or anything to yeah. flesh out these characters is kind of a bad sign mm-hmm. and i don't know man i feel like i feel like i don't know man like it just feels like Zack snyder is low-key losing his touch man Ooh. it's true because other than snyder cut like what other movie has blown us away from him he mm. did give us what's it called um like, okay, 300. I haven't seen it, but I know you guys say it's good, right? But, like, Man of Steel was good. That was a good movie. Mm-hmm. But he also made Batman v Superman, and we know how much they crammed into that movie and how much they wanted to change Batman's character to killing people and all this bullshit. And it's like, then he made Justice League, which wasn't his version of Justice League, So, but he made Snyder Cut. That was good, too. But, like, Army of Dead and, 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 and now Rebel Moon, it's like, I think where he shines the most where he excels by far mm. is his visual flair. Certain scenery, certain certain like cinematography was, looks absolutely I, beautiful. I, I was about to say that. Like okay, like let's talk about the good thing in Rebel Moon. And that's the visuals. Scenery, the the visuals. visuals and the scenery while not and all the character the, design. Well, not all the CGI was fleshed out. There were some no. scenes where it's like, okay, that's clearly CGI. Yeah. Remember when the motherfucker had the tentacles around him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit looked like <laughs> fucking fake CGI. Yeah. But, but like, that's the only good thing about this movie is that I, I like I like the world hey, and listen, the character design hey, and listen, the visuals. Hey, listen, call me a hater. That's probably the only good thing Zack Snyder's good at this these days. Damn, that's, you're a Zack Snyder hater, bro. I don't that's care, right. bro. I don't care. This movie, like, really, dude. The like, Snyder verse fanboy is gonna get. I don't give ass, a man. fucking dude. I don't care, dude. This <laughs> movie Snyder really. Love this this movie is straight you. up, bro. Like, really made me rethink. Like, was this motherfucker ever good? Whoa, I look, that's a bold statement. But like, I think back to those other movies, and I was like, he he made good movies. Three hundred was I heard was fire. It was good. Man of Steel, I remembered was I like good. Man of Steel. Batman v Superman, like the mm. better version of that movie is the three hour ultimate version. On Even HBO though there Max. were, like I said, it goes back. There were some scenes in in Batman v Superman that was that great. Was cool as fuck. That was cool as fuck. Yeah. And even Snyder Cut was way better than the theatrical version of it. Yep. But like Army of Dead, like was okay. Like it was cool. It was enjoyable. But like nothing that blew me away. And now this movie, and it's like, it's like I don't on? know, man. Like visual wise, as far as scenery and cinematography, this motherfucker excels. In which case, this motherfucker should just stick to being a cinematographer. <laughs> Not a director, because if you don't know how to flesh out characters, my guy, then what the fuck, like... What the fuck are you doing? Or if you're the one, like, creating the story, okay, then go and hire better people to write the script, write the screenplay, someone, something that, that know what they do with the characters. Yeah. But it's like a two-man job. A screenplay could be fire, like the script, but, like, if you don't have a good director behind the camera knowing how to like hold a shot on a character long enough to feel the emotion or when not to insert a joke that kills the mood like it's one of those things where like you need to like it all needs to work like a well-balanced like oiled machine yeah you know what i mean screenwriter director like writer they all have to work in tandem yeah so it's like that's why that's why james gunn does all of it he does direct why do you think a lot of this is directed and written both because he's like i know i'm good enough i can't trust other people to do my shit I can do it on my own. I know how to write good movies and I know how to direct. That's why a lot of directors do it all on their own because I'm like, I'm not going to trust somebody else to write this fucking screenplay. I know how to write fire ass screenplays type shit. Mm-hmm. And at, it's least, like, at least that's one thing that we can agree on is like, this. the only good thing about this movie is like the visual mm-hmm. effects and like the world and character designs mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and stuff. Uh, what do you think, Mario? Like, is there, yeah, do, do you agree? Do you disagree? Like, do you want to add on something that we've missed? No, I, I, I agree. The shots were cool. The world is cool. Um, one thing I can only, only... I think the last thing that I think about this movie that I can add on is the beginning of this is very Star Wars. 
in terms of the first movie that you we can talk about because you saw. You saw oh, the first story. Okay, well, okay. Well, basically, you fresh, where... You fresh my memory? How we meet the, the main character in a desert plan, and they're a farmer. And they're a farmer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? This evil o- government comes. And, like, tries to take him over. Tries to take him over. Same thing as... Fucks him up. Not fucks him up, but, like, in the movie, clearly they fuck up the people. Then they have to leave the planet, so they have to find a pilot. They did oh, that in yeah. this movie. Oh. It's all very similar. They have a bar scene just like in oh, episode, they did, episode huh? four. Not only that. Damn, that is similar. Yeah, I, I'm just like, when I was watching the first night, I was like, yo, this shit is like... I feel like it, they sh- he should not He's following that. the sto- Star Wars plot of New, the a New fr- Hope. The what the fuck one. is this? Like, And they shouldn't do that. It shouldn't be like, oh, it's, only fo- it's following the same beats as A New Hope. It shouldn't be like that. Like it legit, bro. Some shots are legit. Like I'm like, what the fuck? Like, yo, like I know you wanted to do this, but like you got to differentiate these shots a little bit, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. It's true. Oh god, it's true. And not only that, in the trailer, I know everybody made a big deal of that one shot of the the Asian chick who had like the fiery blades, and everyone was like, oh my god, I'm so ready for this. And that is uh, an M-rated uh, Star Wars, bro. Oh. They, they must have been so disappointed when they saw this, and I was, yeah. when they also, realized that. Was was probably the only part in a few other scenes where they actually got to see that <laughs> i don't know man hey listen i must be tripping did i see a lightsaber looking shit in the trailer and then never came up in the movie no i did it was right I don't, I, it I was don't that remember. it was that age when she was finding the spider but there were blades in the movie there were blades there were blades they weren't actually but like in the trailer actual, they, were, they look like lightsabers they look they yeah. look oh, wow. so i was like what the fuck like i could have sworn it i was saw that. a lightsaber-esque sword they probably did that to like, it was you that know. to get the hype yeah. to get you to watch it Nah, let's, bro. Okay, so let's talk about the lore a little bit. Right? Yeah, yeah, you got it. Let's start. Come on, you a bitch. Huh? Dude, I barely remember this movie. All right, I'm going to yeah. do my best. And you just watched this. You're the, it's fresher right, on your best. mind. I'm going to do my best, It's man. fresher on I'm gonna your do, mind. I'm going to do my best. Uh, let's talk about the lore. So we find out, right, we're in a universe where, I guess, there was a planet that um, had like a powerful army powerful tech and whatever and was expanding right throughout the universe and wanted to consume more they wanted to consume everything and it's gotten to the point where uh these people were like they're known for as like the motherland or whatever and a lot of people around the galaxy fear them because how powerful they are and how hungry they are for for power and want to take over their planets and everything and it's got to the and so what's happening is Someone, a part of the motherland, part of the army, betrayed the king and actually slayed the king. And now what's happening is that they're trying to locate the person who did it. And they're or, sorry, not not the person they did it. But they're trying to locate people who um, supported that type of rebellion and who call themselves like rebels. So they're on their way traveling around the, the galaxy or universe trying to, you know, locate these types of people. And the the main girl, right? We later find out, right? Because she was on this planet as a farmer. I, I for, dude, honestly, I forgot how she got there. But we find out that she was actually part of that mother. I want to say empire for some reason. Part of the motherland. Don't blame me. People, right? And we find out that she was part of the army, and she, uh, her parents were actually killed and murdered by the king himself and the king actually spared her life and Mm -hmm. took her under her under his wing and raised her to become one of the soldiers and actually was assigned as a specialized guard for the king's daughter and um eventually i'm trying to remember like i don't i'm trying to remember who exactly slain the king or some shit all i know there was a big betrayal that happened and um because I think the I think later in the movie the uh, the motherland accepted this is before the, this is before I guess the motherland would accept other people like foreigners right quote unquote foreigners from other planets and stuff and once they recruited them to be part of the family the motherland that's those same foreigners betrayed them and then that's when they killed the king and that is why like they're so I guess. Um, not as merciful anymore because they're like, man, fuck foreigners type shit. We're going to take everything. And we see that when they first arrive into that planet where they say, we want everything, man. You're going to grow crops. We're going to take everything we want. Whatever, uh, We're going to take everything we want. And that's just how it's going to be. And so now this girl is like, well, we got to stop this bullshit. And she's on a quest to recruit people. And she has this friend, this farm boy or whatever. And they, they're like, yo, we need a ship. Where can we find a ship? They know a couple connections. They find a ship. And they start going planet to planet, recruiting well-known warriors that hate the motherland. 
to basically build a rebellion, right, against the motherland type shit. And talking about this does remind me of the first Star Wars movie. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, so ever since, so that's that. The big villain is like an admiral. He's like uh, uh, the chain in command so far. And from what we know, he's not the super higher ups, no. but he's one of them, right? He's like an mm-hmm. admiral or whatever, or like a general or some shit. I don't fucking know. And he basically, he's the main villain and they're trying to stop him. And then like, in, I'm sh- this is so difficult, man. They find, who, who do they find? M- Mario, do you remember that blonde guy? On the like bar? A, Are you talking about him? Like who like what was his deal Kai. again? Yeah, what was his deal? He was again? just like a smuggler, bro, and he knew connection. He he had the ship. They oh, knew, he had the, the ship. Yes, he, he had, had the, the ship, ship. but it's it, we later on in the movie he ends up betraying them, yeah. betraying the girl and all the warriors that they recruited. Which was crazy, right? Who I cares? mean, I, yeah. I yeah, mean, who cares, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> and we see this betrayal and I'm assuming he did it for what? For money and stuff? For uh, I forgot for what. He said then, money, right? Yeah, right. Like I think so. I think it was like a bounty hunter or something, shit, or some shit like that. I don't know. What happened to him again? He dies. Okay. Yeah, he dies. So, yeah, he dies because when they capture everybody, uh, they yeah he captures they capture everyone. The general, the admiral, whatever pulls up. He's like, I got y'all now. And then the farm guy is forced to like put this gun behind their neck into this mm. machine oh, that's yeah. supposed to paralyze. Yeah. And then he does like a switcheroo where like he does it really fast and like. Ends up shooting that gun the to guy. that smuggler guy's oh, like head under his chin, right? Under his chin, yeah. yes. Uh, killing, okay. and then now we're at this whole spectacle where we're having this boss fight between the king's gaze, which I think that's a cool name, of basically is a huge ass ship, and the gen or the admiral and everyone, all the warriors that were recruited, they're all fighting in this one area uh, where they were held captive, right? And we get that final fight scene with the main girl and um, the admiral. And obviously the main girl wins. We're we think that the admiral's dead, but no gets taken by the motherland and like gets revived or something by these weird tubes that are connected to him. Yeah. And I know I'm going super what's it called? Um super vague just because like I, I man, this is it's so long and con and what's the word? Oh. Convoluted. Yeah, that word. Where it's just like you're not paying attention as much. You're just like, oh my god, like okay, what's going on? Too much yip yapping. But that's pretty much the gist. The movie does. But a majority large... of it, like I said, it's a whole recruitment, so I can't necessarily add much to it. It's just them going to a bunch of different planets and recruiting other people, different warriors. You know what I mean? There's not that much more to add mm-hmm. than mm-hmm. that. And this movie does a lar- a lar- a large portion of this movie is just exposition. Mm-hmm. It basically just explain like you get explanation of like people's backstories and what happened in the past and like all this bullshit and it's like I get you're trying to flesh out a universe but an overload of of dialogue of just paragraphs and paragraphs of like telling us the backstory of this world will check anybody out yeah because it's like oh I I'm just now learning of the backstory of Sofia Botella's character like oh she turned out she was one of them. Mm-hmm. But then, like, you start to meet other warriors, and then you have to find out their backstory. Even the intro of this movie was, like, a paragraph of explaining, like, what we're on. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, what's happening? Oh, this movie the does. motherland, blah, blah, blah. So-and-so wanted to rule, but then the king was slain. Yeah. And now there are these rebels, and, like, it's just, yeah. they, they had to explain hmm. all that shit. Yeah. Just like Star Wars. Yeah. But in Star Wars, wasn't it just, like, text or something? It's it text. Just, here they just tell you it. Yeah, here they That's just That's the only difference. It. Yeah. But it's just, like... It's too much exposition. Like, there's too much just explaining. Would you... Okay, I, I, here's a question for, for, for you guys. Uh, how, how do you... Okay, so we already said that this movie reminds you of, like, the first Star Wars movie. Mm-hmm. Why do you think that the first Star, Star Wars movie did... Was more... Did better than this one if they're very similar? I mean, first of all, this wasn't a whole recruitment. Star Wars, Star Wars movie wasn't a whole recruitment one. It was one. not a recruitment. It wasn't that at okay. all. It was a what very, about, it, it's okay. a very basic storyline, but they execute. What about very well. the? Because uh, Javi was just saying how uh, there's too much expedition, ex- exposition, and like there's a lot of shit going on and stuff. There's a bunch of these words that you don't know. And the first Star Wars movie, I remember, like there were some things like that as well. We're like, oh, the Empire. And they're like, who the fuck is the Empire? And then there's the rebellion. The fuck is there is, but the movie. So my thing is like, what, like, what makes you think is the? Uh, they just don't overload you. Exactly. Okay. It's Star not Wars, overloaded. Star Wars was aimed 
for kids. It still mm-hmm. is, but it's like aimed for kids. So mm-hmm. they simplify the exposition down simple, mm-hmm. especially because it's only the first movie. Mm-hmm. Oh. You find out the Empire are the bad guys. You find out Jedi's were these wizard guys that mm-hmm. like used lightsabers and fought against bad guys. They're ancient myths. Like, oh, what you were you used to be a Jedi? That's crazy. Like type shit. Mm-hmm. You find out Luke's dad was a partner of the old guy that recruits him right obi-wan you find out that this other guy darth vader killed his father and like all that shit and then it's like so like in the first act they kind of do a good job of explaining that shit and then you find out princess leia is like oh well she's captured by darth vader and then they meet han solo and chewbacca and they have a ship and they're smugglers but like that all happens in the first act the whole like knowing what this universe is and who each character is is the first act Mm -hmm. then from the second act to the end is the rest of the movie. Yeah. This movie sense. spends the first two and a half acts recruiting people. But like whereas in Star Wars, they did that whole bullshit in the first act. Mm-hmm. And they managed to hook you, keep you entertained. Mm-hmm. Because all the exposition moments. all the exposition was simplified. They don't overload you like And it hooks you. And yeah. Like when when they explain what this universe is, like they explain for example, they explain what the Empire is. Yeah. Like, well, the mm-hmm. Empire is just like this evil... These, they're the bad guys. They're the ones that want to rule the galaxy. They don't tell you about the man who founded the Empire yeah. millions of years ago and, like, how it came up to be. That would be too much, especially when it's the first movie of your universe. When they tell you who the big baddie is, Darth Vader, but like, oh, yeah, this is everything you need to know about him. Darth Vader, blah, 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 blah this and that, blah, blah, blah. So it's just like, oh, no, he's a bad guy. He's just, no, evil, he's the main he's one. Like H5, he saw his father die in front of him. Like, yeah. shit. <laughs> so he swore in vengeance on the Jedi and along the way. And it's like, motherfucker. Like, why do I care? By the way, I tell you that he has a, he has a six toe. <laughs> and it's like I thought you guys should know yeah. that and his favorite like, cereal fuck? was Cheerios every morning he's like who the fuck is Darth Vader he's like dude he's an evil space lord who runs the empire and he wants to take over the world oh cool <laughs> you know what I mean you're like, like okay alright so, so avoid <laughs> the matte black iPhone 7 motherfucker bet <laughs> yeah remember that when the iPhone 7 was that shiny black shit yeah that's how he looked like basically that's, okay yeah that makes sense um, that's why so yeah, that's the whole lore situation, guys. I mean, I guess we gotta see if the second movie or second part is a lot better, and we actually care. But I don't know, man. Like I said, we're at the end of the movie, and this one of the recruiters, or sorry, uh, one of the people that they recruited dies, and it was just like it was supposed to be a moment because you see him like crying and shit while he's dying. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you see someone else like crying, like screaming, "No!" Right, right. And I'm like. Why do I care? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what's g- what, right. what is going on? All right, buddy. I guess he's dead. Yeah. I think we got to recruit someone else. I think what they should have done, bro, was they should have cut the recruitment process in half. Dude. They oh. should have only recruited half the people that they did. After and seeing- then have the rest of the movie be them trying to actively pursue yeah. the mother world people. See what I mean? Not have it, the whole movie be the recruitment process. It's like, and maybe through like mini battles or scenes, like we see the characters being fleshed out a bit more or something. I don't know. Or what if? Here's an idea. What if Zack Snyder had the idea of all these characters? He's like, but like, how cool would it be if we had a character like this? And then we had a character that was also like this, and another character that was like this. And it's like, yeah, but that's already like eight people. Mm -hmm. Like you're gonna cram eight fucking people into your movie. Like the whole movie will be a recruitment. Uh, uh, movie like that's all it's gonna be what he should have done was maybe recruited like half these people and then leave and if you re- like oh but those characters though that I wanted to use mm-hmm. okay have them recruit them in the second movie they can maybe come in and be like hey we could help y'all too like two or three more people can come in like oh okay the people we grew attached with in the first movie and now they yeah. meet up with these other people and that's how you get the bo- the whole group like we get in this movie but it's like it's almost like he wanted to he had all these ideas for these characters and he wanted to use them all off rip that he's like we're just going to introduce each one of them one by one each with their own plan and their each with their own backstory. Yeah, like the, like this movie this part was made, bro, like if we already had like some type of establishment with these characters and the world. Mhm. You know what I mean? Like kind of like with Harry Potter. Like I feel like I missed an entire MCU phase. That's what yeah, thank you. That's what I mean. Like is like this they made it to where like oh this was the Avengers like type shit where uh we're like if we were already invested with the universe if we already were like two three movies in 
and we already know these characters we already know what the fuck's going on but no dude it's just they just drop you in there and it's like everything's overwhelming he's like okay who are you i don't care about you it blah, makes blah, blah. you so my thing is like do you think it feels that way because Zack Snyder wanted this originally to be a Star Wars movie, therefore he would be pulling Star Wars characters that were already established. Is that why these characters feel like they should have been established already? That's a good question, man. Because that's a good if, question for Mario. Mario, why? Because you said you're talking about like Star Wars characters. I don't know about any about Star Wars. No, characters. but that doesn't no. Make, that doesn't matter. No, I'm saying, do you think? Because you said this movie feels like there should have been another two or three movies that establish these characters I'm saying what if Zack Snyder's Star Wars R-rated Star Wars movie that he pitched to Disney would pull from pre-existing Star Wars characters that were established that's why these characters feel like they should be established but they're not this is the first movie that's hmm. what I'm saying in which case that's a huge technical error yeah. On his part, yep. he should have known. Oh shit! I'm no longer working on a Star Wars movie. I have to create my own space odyssey story, my own space story that takes place in space. So I can't establish these characters like they're established characters. Like yeah. I was gonna do with Star Wars because I was gonna bring back, I was gonna bring back Luke Skywalker. I was gonna bring back Darth Vader back from the dead and all these characters that people know. But like I can't do that with this movie. These are new characters. So you know what? The movie idea that I had where these guys band together and fight the Empire, right, or Mother World or whatever, that's going to have to wait till later. Because if I'm going to create this universe from scratch, I should probably dedicate this first movie to fleshing out these characters. Yeah. But it's like, he but was even so. Then, it wasn't but it's like, he was so hell bent on the idea of, oh, these characters are going to get together and fight them. That it's like, no, dude, you should have. That should have been the third movie, or it should have came later on. Y'all should have, you should have established the universe and the characters more. That would have been priority number one. But he didn't want to do that. It's like he like rushed through the entire, that whole entire shit. Yeah, you're right, dude. So I don't know. Um, but I mean, we discussed the lore. We discussed the only good thing about it. Let me look at the notes. We discussed. You took notes? Yeah. A few. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah. What's the nose hot? What's the hot? What's the nose looking like? I mean, a lot of this is stuff that we already said. We already mentioned the film drags on. Yeah, we, yeah, we said we that. that. The actual plot of the movie can be an interesting one if dealt better. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. whole thing where she recruits a band of warriors to take on a bigger empire, like that sounds cool, but mm -hmm. pacing wise, establishing the characters, fleshing yeah, it wasn't them out, executed was, properly. was not executed good. Uh, I put too many slow mo shots. Like, dude, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> there's way too many. Bro. That's what I put. I put too many slow mo shots. Oh like, God. too many. Like, that's yeah, what I bro. Like, there's so much in here. It's like, and are like, you just make you, you just want to make this movie longer or some shit? Yeah, like, bro. <laughs> what's going on here, man? Oh, I don't know, man. I go. And for the choreography was just not great, dude. If we go back to that barn scene where those guys are trying to grape that girl, and the chick is like, no. And like you know, does a little fight scene. That entire like, dude, it wasn't great, dude. Mm -hmm. And I can see why maybe he did it in slow motion. All oh, looks better in slow motion, but even then, man, like, no, nah, man, it's just mid fucking choreography, man. It's, yeah. But uh, okay, yeah. That was it. That's it on the notes. Everything else we've already said. We already talked about. We already talked about it. Okay, I mean, it's, well, we pretty much covered everything, guys. Uh, do you want to? How far are we in, Mario? Actually, fifty-three minutes. Jesus Christ. I got a question if y'all want to do it. Oh, yeah. Fuck it, yeah. What's no, up? I mean, I mean like after the movie. Like a question question. Oh. That we do at the end. If y'all are interested. Oh, oh okay. Okay. So, I mean. So, like. <laughs> let's, <laughs> should we do our rating and our then rating? We'll do the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet. So, but uh, is this the end or did you guys want to mention something else? I, th I think uh, we pretty much covered everything, man. I don't think there's anything else that uh, we missed other than... Um, Bad I guess, pacing. like I said, the only good thing was the visuals, the, visuals. the character design, yeah. the world design. That shit was cool, obviously. And uh, that's it, dude. I don't know. Anything, Mario? Nah, man. Anything it's, we're missing? It's just disappointing. Want to get to our rating, then? Want me yeah. to go first this time? Yeah, you go ahead. All right, girl. Is it worth a movie ticket? I mean, it's on Netflix, right? So <laughs> just cancel the subscription. Is it, worth, is it worth your time? Just cancel the subscription, buddy. <laughs> 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 no, I'll play is it worth the watch, bro? Honestly, dude. No, nah, man. No. Just don't watch it. It's whatever. You die happy. Like you like you die okay knowing that. Oh fuck. Like you're on your deathbed. Like, I didn't watch Rebel Moon. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, no, you're fine, <laughs> you're man. Good, you're good. 
but if like if you're really into Star Wars and shit, I mean, you're not you're gonna be disappointed with this one. And if you if you actually like the creator, the creator was a lot better than this one. Obviously, yeah, uh, you're gonna be disappointed as well. If this one was it's just a disappointment to be honest. I was looking, I was looking forward to it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was expecting it to be similar to what, how I felt with the creator, mm-hmm. you know. And so with this movie, man, I. Uh, I'm gonna give this one. I'm 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 a rate. Is it worth a watch? No, I'm gonna rate this a four. Damn, this is a four for me, man. Damn, that's uh, crazy. Like it was just it was a poorly done um, wannabe type of Star Wars universe type shit. Um, but yeah, I'm that's, that's my rating a four. That's crazy. What do you think, Hive? For me, man, I agree. I feel like this movie just drags on for way too long. The pacing is terrible. The movie doesn't do a very good job of fleshing out these characters, which is like the first misstep. Because if you don't grow attached to the characters, the rest of the movie kind of falls apart. The only good thing that this movie has going for is the cinematography. Some of the visuals mm-hmm. like in this movie. While sometimes you can tell the green screen and bad CGI, sometimes. A lot of the visuals, like the outer space shots and stuff like that, actually do look really cool. And there's a lot of slow-mo shots that also look really cool in this movie. But when it's overdone to this extent, it's like you kind of grow tired of it. My favorite scene with the slow-mo was when... When they were throwing rice on the ground for the plants. I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah. that I the, Dennis don't remember that. That was in the very beginning of the movie. What the fuck? No, my, what no, was my, the point uh, of that slow-mo know, rice? What was the point of that robot character? Remember that robot character? He might what co- do you mean, stupid? If Star Wars had C-3PO. Bro, he might yes, he man. might come, come into on, play. He might I, I forgot about I forgot we, I forgot to talk about that motherfucker, but he might come into play in the next movie. Probably. But uh anyways, uh the scene that I like with the slow mo was when the main character was like telling the farm guy about who she was in their past. Mm-hmm. And it's that scene where like she's in war and there's a bunch of gun like bunch yeah. of shots fired. She's like running with the gun, it's snowing. taking cover. Yeah. yeah. That scene was badass. That yeah. shit was like that shit was cool as fuck. Right. Uh but yeah. That's it. That was that was pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, that was, that's bro, how there were slow mo scenes with that guy uh, taming that bird, bro. <laughs> like, like a slow mo of him running towards yeah. the bird and shit, him jumping on it and shit. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. Man. Oh my god. But yeah, god. this movie just had too many slow mo shots. The characters were not fleshed out. The pacing was terrible. Uh, I didn't really care for the stakes nor for the for nah, any man. of the characters. I didn't care for the villain. Like I don't know, man. This movie just kind of left me like whatever. To be honest, I don't know. I don't see myself revisiting this movie. I don't see myself <laughs> recommending this movie to anybody. Yeah. For me, man, like if it wasn't for those visuals, that's the only thing holding this thing on its feet. Ex- man, absolutely. Are yeah. the visuals and like some of the cinematography in this movie? Because other than that, man, I don't know if I could ever look forward to another Zack Snyder movie. Again. Damn. I don't give a fuck, bro. He's I'm a giving Zack Snyder project. I don't man. give a fuck. He's bro. getting sick of Zack Snyder. I'm giving this a a three. A three, Jesus three. Christ! A three is crazy. And remember, actions—that's Javi's need. Dude, hey, hey, uh, Javi, Mario gave Silent Night a three, girl. I know how it feels. That's now. crazy. I know how it feels now. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm excited to hear for Mario. What do you think, Mario? Listen, I man. think honestly, with I think with ratings, man, I might be the most generous one. <sighs> Listen, bro. Except for Silent Night, that's one thing that we disagreed on. Um. Cause motherfucker, you gave Morbius a one, bro. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that shit was crazy. Hold on, hold on. let me think. Let me think. You, you gave Morbius, Morbius a one. Bro. Let me think. Let me think. Morbius is better than this. I was gonna, actually. I was gonna ask, like, I don't know what's better, that. Morbius or this? I think Morbius was at least more entertaining. Cause Morbius yeah. had that cool like effects and shit when he was yeah, hearing. Like, yeah, you were right. It was at least more entertaining than this movie. I kind of see him as the same. I was just kind of like, whatever about the movie. The why did you give Morbius a one and this one a three? I don't know, man. <laughs> All right. Who, that's I don't know. <laughs> that's his lowest rating rated movie ever it's on the yeah, pod is know, Morbius. Like number is a one. Uh, I think I was more angry at the time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, do you want to re? Do you want to uh, re-rate it? For me to re-rate it, bro, I'd have to rewatch it. I'd Fuck. Have to <laughs> and for me, to re- and for me to rewatch it, I you gotta sit down and commit. Time. I'd rather watch Morbius two Morbin time. What you talking about? <laughs> Remember that uh, shit? No, Remember when they released the movie again in yeah, theaters? Yeah, they thought people were hyped or some yeah. shit. And like no one saw it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were idiots for that. That's so I don't know why they did bad. that. That's funny. All right, bro. What's your yeah, shit, Mario? Bro? What the what fuck? Man? Uh, Who cares what Mario's gonna uh, say? I, I guess I'm gonna say no. This is definitely not worth your time at all. Don't sit down, add it to your list or whatever. 
Um, oh, it's going on a list. It's going on one list I can think of right oh, now. Shit. Oh, hell no. Disappointment list. Yeah. Which me, girl. But, uh, nah, man, this movie was a fucking disappointment because I definitely was looking forward to it, given the backstory. Hey, man, you're the and biggest Star, Star Wars fan here, man. Yeah, uh, Star Wars is so much better than this. Um, no, uh, the fact that they try, he tried to copy some of the plot points from the first movie and, and implement it here in this movie was very obvious. And maybe if the movie was better, it, maybe I would have appreciated it more, but this movie drags on. And it, it's a snooze fest. Um... That being said, uh, is this better? It's crazy because like I enjoyed Aquaman more than this. Me too. I enjoyed oh, the yeah. Marvels more than this. Really? Mm. Yeah, bro. The Marvels. Mm. Well, by like yeah, by a bit. Marvels, I gave a five. I think. That's crazy. I, I gave it a four. six. But the Marvels, you gave a six. I think it was a. Oh yeah. shit! But uh, what's it called for this movie? I'm debating in my head: is this better than Silent Night? That's tough, I, man. Dude, I, I know how I, I, like, honestly, to, I know how you would roast this, but honestly, that is tough, dude. Because I would not I watch know. both of them again. I'm not rewatching this movie. And I would I, not watch them again. And I, how I felt about Silent Night, I feel about this movie. So no, I, do you remember? Do you remember that scene in Silent Night? I know we talked about it. Was the scene where yeah, it's just him running in slow motion? It's just his like his shirt or whatever, uh-huh. and it just shows a bunch of like the people being credited. That shit felt so dragged on to me that it, like that's how I felt like with this shit. Mm-hmm. I know exactly what you mean. I think, bro. I got. If I'm being honest, bro, I think both those movies are the same for me. Okay. In so, terms of like how enjoyment, which was basically none. Okay. So because of that, it's a three. It's a three. Also. Jesus. I, I I didn't think I was gonna give another. You guys thing are making bad. me rethink. Like, am I being too generous to this movie? Like, I mean, a four still bad. No, rating, I mean, hey, listen, man, it's just how you feel, bro. Yeah, it's just how you feel, and I'm sorry, I just don't feel anything better. I don't feel that Rebel Moon deserves a higher rating than Silent Night. I really don't. Okay, so you enjoyed Silent Night more? No, I I get both the same rating. Oh, you did? I get oh, Silent yes, Night a three did, too. Yes, it's like I think I see I feel the same about right, the both. Right, right. Like I can't say like, oh, Rebel Moon's better than Silent Night. Like, no, bro, they're both the same in my mind. Okay, I got you. All right, guys. So there you guys have it, man. Uh, Rebel Moon, uh, huge flop. Uh, Javi and Mario gave it a three, and I'm giving it a four. Uh, with that being said, guys, we're gonna get into the section where Javi's gonna ask us a question. So mm-hmm. if you guys want to stay, uh, stay around and listen, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. feel free. But if not, we'll catch you guys in the next one. All right? Yeah. But uh, before but, we, before I ask my question, we yeah. also want to remind you guys that you guys can feel free to DM either one of us on oh, Instagram yeah. or on the official HRV podcast uh, Instagram. With any questions, because I know, know that we was could a do, bit actually? that we used to do. You know, you, you know what we could do, actually? What's up? Is maybe, like, once a month, we could do a thing where it's just a pod dedicated to answering questions. So, let's say, like, a month. Like, it could be, like, at the end of the month. Let's say, a, like, during the month, there's some, like, crazy shit happens. Like, Jonathan Majors or, like, mm-hmm. some crazy shit that people want to know. Mm-hmm. We could do, like, an end of month thing where it's, like, kind of, like, a recap of what people want to know from us and shit. You know what I mean? And just dedicate a pod solely just oh, answering questions and shit. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, maybe, but what's, what's maybe, your what's maybe your we question? Can start we can start implementing that next year maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, go ahead, Av. I was gonna say like you know just a reminder you guys can feel free to ask questions of your own. But since we haven't been getting any, I've been coming up with the questions. Just shit that kind of comes to mind. I'm just like I wonder what the guys think about this. And I make a mental note to make sure to bring it up. In yeah, a either pod. either message uh, on Instagram at Heat Revision Podcast or message us individually. Mario is yours is at just jazzy just jazzy right j uh j u s t j a w z i e yeah he was thinking about it for a second and then half what's yours half is flying right now okay just how it sounds guys half is flying and it's half with a j not a h true and then mine guys is at seeing six and yeah although i think the links i think our instagrams are actually on the link tree or, or if you go to heat ray vision uh podcast.com you're gonna see everything through there uh but yeah uh so go you're saying half so i want to get your guys' thoughts on something i got a question like i'm looking for a little discussion i want you to get your guys thoughts so um first of all i i heard about something i heard about this thing going on in hollywood okay most specifically with the mcu mm-hmm. and i heard it from right. another podcast and i don't know if you want me to name drop them or if they're considered ops. Fuck the ops, man. all right best so i'm gonna just say a <laughs> podcast that rem- <laughs> I'm going to just say a podcast that will rain. How unnamed. dare you listen to other podcasts? Huh? Hey, listen, man. Unbelievable. Hey, man, listen. Sometimes I just get tired of you. Uh, 
That's crazy. That is crazy. Ah. That's crazy because I still love you, though. Hey, yo, chill. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. I appreciate it, man. I love you, man. But uh, a podcast that will remain unnamed, Okay. I guess. Fuck the mops, man. Yeah, all right. Um, I was watching this podcast, and they brought up something that I felt like was a good discussion for us to have. So, you okay. know, I'm just taking their ideas, I guess. Whatever. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, right? It's not even an idea. Okay. It's more so something they talked about. And I was like, I wonder what the guys think about that. So um, supposedly there's this rumor. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know if it's proven. But supposedly a reliable insider who has their ear to the wall on anything that's going on in Hollywood heard that the MCU, Marvel Studios, they've been the, they've been the ones behind um, these things that we've been seeing on social media. I don't know if you guys have been seeing. So you know how like in the last year or two we've been getting these supposed like rumored things going on with the MCU? Mm -hmm. Do you know how like we heard about how Pedro Pascal was in talks to be Reed Richards in the MCU? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we heard about how they might want to make like, oh, rumor is they want to make Silver Surfer a female. Mm -hmm. And they were looking at Anya Taylor-Joy to play her, Mm -hmm. to play the Silver Surfer. And then, like, oh, rumor is that Spider-Man 4, the first Spider-Man Tom Holland movie is going to be, like, Captain America Civil War, but street-level heroes. Yeah. So, like, but they're, but it's all, like, rumor, rumor, rumor. It's like, where are these rumors coming from, bro? Like, I feel like it's just, like, fans making up fake shit to get their fan pages likes and, and, and retweets and repost. Like, I just feel like that's what it is. Yeah. Supposedly, an in a Hollywood insider, someone who's reliable, a reliable source is saying that Marvel Studios are the ones coming up with these rumors and telling people to leak it onto the internet because by putting out those rumors, they can go on social media and see what fans smart. see what fans think about the supposed news and they know whether to move with that or, or not. not. So that whole thing, like people are saying that whole thing where like Silver Surfer might be a female in the MCU and people are looking at Anya Taylor-Joy and everyone was like, Fuck that. Why would she be female? In the comics, he's a man and blah, 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 and this and that, right? That That's like their way of being like, okay, the fans didn't like that shit, so we're not going to we're not gonna do that. Not going to lie, that's a smart way to, to to understand like what's good or not for them, and not only that, like a good business move. That actually reminds me of like GTA, <laughs> with uh, how they purposely would hire people to like release like negative reviews and stuff. And, and apparently that's what's happening. Cause I don't know if you saw like on, on like Twitter, it was trending how like, Oh, ban GTA. Look at this shit. Drugs. This girl shaking her ass, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know what I mean? But it's kind of like, dude, it's a rated M sure game. Like, Oh, protect the kids. Just don't buy your kids the game. Yeah, right. It's, mm-hmm. it's, you're the parent. Right. Mm-hmm. But anyways, there, there was a thing where the, the creator, I think, no interactive studio an interactive, uh, or no, what was it? What was it called again? Um, the people that own Rockstar, uh, Rockstar? one take, one take. Oh, uh, I think it's no, not one take. Uh, Interact. I, I forgot. Rockstar more. North. No, 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 no. It's an actual like media fucking show, and then nobody you heard. Like, look at Omar. It, it's I think it's interactive or take two, take two interactive or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I think it's right. That. Yeah. Where they said in the previous Grand Theft Auto games, like like Vice City, San Andreas, and stuff. That they enjoyed uh, negative publicity, and that the rumors was that he would pay people to be upset about the new GTA game of like, oh, like this nudity is terrible, this blah blah blah, oh my god, like this this game is like super inappropriate, because he he did that on purpose and he enjoyed it because that would cause more controversy and you know bad publicity is still publicity, and people would go out there and be like, oh, I gotta check this out for myself and increase the interest of a younger audience and more and more people in general so people could check out the game and that just reminds me of what like you're telling me right now with um with marvel studios mm-hmm. of them purposely doing that to see am i right it's uh take two interactive take two interactive yeah all right cool yeah bro i had no idea who the f- take two interactive what yeah the fuck? you know what i mean but what's it called but, so the question is yeah you know that's supposedly what this reliable source from Hollywood is saying. Yeah. That Marvel Studios, they're the ones who are actually doing this. Putting out the rumors. <sighs> that's, I mean, like the I question said, is, man. So the question I have is, do you guys think that's true? Do you uh, think Marvel Studios is doing this? I mean, here's the thing, man. 
I don't like. I don't know what to believe, that's, man. That's some conspiracy theory shit. The government lies to us. We already know there's aliens out there. We know they have aliens, right? Mm-hmm. So a lot of shit goes on behind the scenes that we don't know about, bro. And it, could it be true? I kind of believe it. Like I'd believe. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it came out like that's true, because it kind of makes sense. Like it's a business move, and like just in general, like oh, let's see what the fuck you know our fans are going through. Kind of like here's the thing where people actually do this where. Uh, celebrities, whether they want to admit or not, or even influencers, they make like Instagram accounts that are just randoms or whatever, and they start, you know, looking through their comments or commenting other people. I remember, I, I, I'm trying to remember what game it was, where there was a game that did terribly on Twitter, and there was actual de- game developers that used like their, a private Twitter and was defending their own game, you know, pretending to be other people. I forgot what game it was. Um, if you guys know, like, uh, if you guys, are, whoever's listening, guys, if you guys know what I'm talking about, let us know in the comments. But that was a thing. Like, like people would actually do that, mm. you know. I mean, and a lot of people would do that. And there's a lot. Mm. I'm, I'm just saying, a lot of things happen behind the scenes that we don't know about. And Marvel, that could be the case, man. And to be honest, it's like, I'd have to give them like the, their props, because like, if it is true, it's kind of smart, you know. what I mean, to like see what the like, see if they fuck with it or not, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but yeah, that's just what I think. Wait, I answered your question, right? I just went on a little mini rant, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> um, I but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. And, oh, no, you said, do I think it's true? That's tough. I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised mm-hmm. if it was true. Uh, and it seems smart. Hopefully that answers the question. Mm-hmm. Or do you want me to yes or no answer? No, no. I just. But yeah. yeah that, that's just what I think. What about you, Mario? What you think, bro? I don't know, man. At this point, anything Marvel. <laughs> I don't knows. know, man. Road movie is trash, man. <laughs> like, what the fuck going on? Man? <laughs> I'm kind of. Uh, uh, hey, at this point, when it comes to Marvel, I just, I, I, I don't really care if, if, that, if that's, know. if that's what they need to do to make these movies great, then go ahead, fucking do it. I mean, I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to think what rumor was true, and they, and they executed it, but it was bad. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't really keep anything. up with MCU rumors. The only thing I can know, like I, I remember, was uh, Jim right from the office playing as uh, uh, Mister Fantastic, mm. and that was, I think that was it. That's the only thing I could remember. Mm-hmm. Um, was there any rumors for Deadpool that like oh, came true? Easy. Like, was there a rumor about like Wolverine coming back in his suit and it, like it happened? No, no, mm, I can't remember. What about you, Hav? What do you think, man? You think it's legit? You think it's real? What the fuck, bro? Uh, Go so find out, dude. That's the thing. I can call him right now. Hey. Get five. What the fuck going on? What the fuck you doing, man? Yeah, you looking at your own shit, man. <laughs> you, you shit for real, man? Yeah. Hey, 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 you hey, shit for hey, real. Hey, hey, hey leak this shit, bro. Leak the, hey, leak this shit. What do you want me to leak? You want to leak it right now? You on the, I'm on the hot Say mic. Say what right now. <laughs> Say what. <laughs> you want to leak right, it? All right, man. All right. Hey, man. I'm y'all, king. y'all ain't gonna hey, believe this. I'm king now. He just said I'm king. <laughs> Can't fuck. You said I'm king, man. What's up, girl? <laughs> oh, hell no, bro. Say, you want me to leave it, say I won't leave it right now, buddy. Bet. He told me not to leak. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> he said he told me not to leak. I'm sorry. <laughs> All that hyping up, you're just like, never mind, y'all. I, I just wanted to keep y'all entertained. Hey, man. But speaking of leakers, bro, that fucking dude that leaked the fucking GTA 6. Like, you oh, see that yeah. he, he got sent it to a, like a mental asylum, yeah, for like yeah. life or something. Why though? He didn't. He didn't actually. He just. I. I the. The. Because he was going to face company. prison time. So my guess is like he purposely made himself look that crazy so he wouldn't get prison time. Except you know what's crazy? crazy? You want to know how he hacked it with? How do you? Hack like, dude, these motherfuckers are insane. How do you? He hack ha- it? he went to a hotel and, and 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 this guy's hacked previous shit by the way. I forgot what it was, but. Uh, he apparently went to a hotel. He was under police custody, by the way, when it was happening. He was at a hotel. They took the fuck away. What did he do before? Listen, that he was in police I, custody. I, they, I, he he hacked some other shit. I don't know what he the fuck he was. He was 17. He's 17. Yeah, bro, yeah. He he was at a hotel. He used a Roku thing you stick to behind a TV. What the fuck? And I, I don't know what the fuck he did and how he did it, but through that, he was able to do that shit. He connected it to what? Like a computer or something? Uh, to, uh, to, uh, uh, a TV. A, a, a TV. And off of that shit, he was able to do it. I shit you That's not. That's fake as fuck. Look it up. I'm not even fucking with you. Look it up. How, how do you know it's real? Art- like, articles. was it a police report or something? Or no, like articles. A, like a legal report? No, the articles that I read. I can't name the article. I don't remember the fucking article. What the fuck? Bro, these hackers are insane. Yo, why the fuck is Mr. Beast on my <laughs> Roku TV right now? Yo, guys, if you guys Roku, you know there, there's a uh, Roku, Roku City. City. 
That's what, when I say the city needs me, I mean Roku City. And there's Mr. Beast on this bitch. It says live right now, the Roku channel. What the fuck? Man. They're playing Mr. Beast videos. Shout out to Mr. Beast, man. Yeah, for real. Uh, he a real Same. one, man. Why, but, uh, why his eyes look like that? I don't know. And look, there he goes again. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know, man. Motherfuckers are Anyways, I tried his feastables. His what? His oh, feastables? Yeah. I his tried chocolate them. bars? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. I tried these nuts. <laughs> That's yeah. what it's called. I know. My brother It's pretty good. Those. It's pretty good. Better than Hershey? Fuck, I don't know. I gotta try his other like chocolate. Ones. Hey, listen, fuck your shit, bro. But anyways, I don't fuck. What? Gordon Ramsay said the three thousand dollar chocolate bar tastes better than his shit. Well, if it's three thousand, I hope it does. Yeah. Wait, what? The three thousand chocolate bar tastes yeah, better you, than his? Yeah, you didn't see the TikTok? No. Nah. Where he was with Gordon Ramsay, and he's like, he's like, he's like Gordon Ramsay. You know how fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. talks. Gordon Ramsay's gonna try my chocolate chip. My chocolate bar compared to the most expensive chocolate bar known to man. And it came in like a box that like opened up yeah. fancy. Which shit. one is better? And he tries them both. And he was like, yours does not stand a chance. What the fuck? Like this shit. Does he actually? <laughs> yes. I, I mean, I hope so. It's fucking $3,000. I don't or know how much it actually was. but it oh. was. A oh, I thought money. it was actually 3000 But I hope so, man. It's a it shit ton of money. I think it was in the thousands though. Hey, man. I trust Gordon Ramsay, bro. Of course. Same I trust here. the dude from the bear, bro. Facts. That's my guy. I forgot his name. You know, a lot of hey, people. We find, out, we find out there's a, there's a Gordon Ramsay prequel. Like when he was a kid and shit, like a yeah, imagine that'd be funny. That would be funny. As that would be funny. But you're, what are you saying, Mario? You're I was going to say the the actor, the main, the, the MC and the bear. A lot of people say yes, chef, to him in public. No way. Yeah, what he gets it. Fuck? He gets it a lot. I'm like, that's fucking hilarious. I wonder if he, I wonder if he like he was an actual chef. Like you think the yeah. actor or the story? Like Damn. the story is real. I don't the know. actor, bro. Oh, I don't know. It looks like he knows what he's doing, bro. I mean, for a show like that, you, 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 you have to train. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why he's an actor, man. He's good yeah. as fuck with it. Yeah. You know, that reminds me. That reminds me. There's a scene, there's a thing on TikTok that I saw where like where it says the caption. You know, some captions are stupid. It's like the caption was like, "Whose old ass hand is this?" And it's Demi Lovato and Camp Rock, Camp like Rock. on the keyboard. And yeah. there's a, sh- oh, and there's a yeah. shot of like this person, yeah, doing uh, the sliding thing on the keyboard. And it's old ass hand that you could tell it's not Demi Lovato's. Yeah. Dude, that shit cracked me up. I never noticed that as a kid, yeah. bro. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? There's a lot of moments like that in uh, Disney. Dude, that shit's funny as hell. Yep. Um, but anyways, uh, did we, is, that, is, that, is that pretty much it? Did that was the answer? question that I have. Yeah. I wanted to see if you guys think it was real or mm. not. <laughs> What did you say again? You said yeah. Or, I think you know? it, the thing is, I'm not sure. I'm yeah. like with you. It's tough. Yeah. I don't know if it's true, but it would be smart. It, would it be also smart, would be bro. one of those things where it's like, where are these rumors coming from? That's true, bro. That means that a lot of the shit that you hear, it could be just them putting out that shit. Like that yeah. was the most recent one I heard. Spider-Man 4 is going to be Civil War, but street level heroes. I think the most recent one I heard was... Um, yeah, I think that might be it. I saw the, or like the Silver that, Surfer one. Or like all the shit about how they wanted to make another Avengers movie with the OG cast. Hmm. Oh, I saw that one. Or how they wanted to stray away from the Kang storyline and bring in Doctor Doom at one point. Like all those are supposed rumors that they put out to see what the fans think of that shit or not. That's smart though. Mm-hmm. That's smart. If it's true, that's a W. Mm-hmm. But uh, you would think they'd hear us be like, hey, make better movies. Yeah, right. They yeah. just ignore that part. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, right? Mm-hmm, that's pretty yep. much it. So yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed that mini discussion, and hopefully you guys enjoyed our review for Rebel Moon, Child of Fire. Yes. Yeah. A Child of Fire? Or some I shit? don't know. Something with a Child of Fire. Something's it's on Rebel Moon part one. Just Rebel Something's Moon, Something's on fire, bro. It's yeah. always something. Something's on fire. We're catching fire. Right. And I'm not talking game. Hunger Games. That's a bar. I still haven't finished the Hunger Games. So I, gotta, <laughs> I gotta fucking get on that, bro. Fuck. Um, but yeah, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And um, once again, uh, thank you guys so much for listening. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace. See ya.